A candidate for the Minnesota State Senate got national attention when she went into labor during a nominated convention last month. Erin May Quaid was immediately forced to withdraw her candidacy. But today, she announced her campaign to run in the August 9th primary. As Esme Murphy reports, Quaid also wants to raise awareness about the potentially deadly pregnancy disorder that she experienced. And safeguard our civil and human rights. And strengthen our human and public infrastructure. Excuse me. That's Erin May Quaid at the convention in labor. A lot of women are probably saying right now, how the heck did she do it? I said if I wasn't actively pushing a baby out, I was going to be there. May Quaid's wife, Alice. I looked pretty calm, but on the inside, it was like, do I run up? Do I try to grab her? Is she going to have a contraction right now? So I was definitely freaking out. But suddenly. I can't keep doing this. She withdrew her nomination and rushed to the hospital. Why didn't anybody at the convention say, this woman's in labor, we've got to stop this? You know, I, I, that's a good question. Six hours later, baby Hattie was born. Just the love of our life. And four days later, May Quaid's life could have ended. A $25 blood pressure cuff from Amazon saved my life. Her blood pressure had soared. She was hospitalized with postpartum preeclampsia, a potentially fatal hypertensive disorder affecting 5 to 8% of all pregnancies. Women of color are three times at risk. My blood pressure was stellar throughout the entire pregnancy. The only symptom, a slight swelling in her hands. May Quaid says as she campaigns again, she will push for better monitoring of women before and after pregnancy, as well as the distribution of blood pressure cuffs. If they could save my life, I hope it could save even one more person's life, too. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. The DFL party is now looking at changing the rules to easily postpone an endorsement if there's a medical emergency. May Quaid will be facing the DFL nominee, Justin Emmerich, in the August primary. Emmerich says he is looking forward to earning voter support in the coming weeks.